Welcome back to our channel, fellow numismatics enthusiasts. In today's episode, we're diving into the fascinating world of error coins, spotlighting the renowned 1972 Lincoln cent with its double die obverse. This particular error has captivated collectors and continues to intrigue the numismatic community. We're going to uncover the current value of this rare find, guide you through identifying this sought-after error, and discuss the steps you should take if you're lucky enough to discover one. Plus, we'll even consult AI to forecast the future worth of this prized error. So, if you're as passionate about coins as we are, make sure to hit the subscribe button below, and let's get started on this exciting journey together. The 1972 Lincoln Cent is a part of the long-standing Lincoln Penny series, which began in 1909. This particular year does not have any mint mark for coins struck at the Philadelphia Mint, which is standard for this time period. The mintage for the 1972 Lincoln Cent was substantial, with over 2.9 billion pieces produced, reflecting its role as a workhorse of American currency, meant for everyday transactions. The metal composition of the 1972 Lincoln cent is 95% copper and 5% zinc, a standard alloy known as bronze that was used for pennies during this era. Due to its high production, the standard 1972 Lincoln cent in circulated condition holds nominal value, mostly of interest to collectors completing year sets rather than for its metal content or rarity. Uncirculated examples can fetch slightly higher prices, but these are generally affordable for most collectors. What sets certain 1972 Lincoln cents apart is the presence of a doubling error on the obverse, front, side of the coin, known specifically as the double die obverse, DDO. This error, caused by a misalignment during the hubbing process, the making of dies that struck the coins. This mint error resulted in noticeable doubling of the date and inscriptions. The appeal of the 1972 DDO Lincoln cent lies not just in its numismatic rarity but also in its striking error, making it a centerpiece of error coin collections. Collectors prize these errors for their uniqueness and the story they tell about the minting process, making the 1972 DDO Lincoln cent a fascinating piece of numismatic history. This year rare MS67 red specimen was showcased at Heritage Auctions. Several double die varieties exist for the 1972 Lincoln cent, although FS101 is by far the most dramatic and most sought after. Bold doubling is visible on all obverse legends, especially Liberty and the Date. This high-end example is a satiny, pristine copper red superb gem. Sharp detail and outstanding eye appeal are its hallmarks. One of three double dies in this grade attributed as FS101 by PCGS, although about 100 additional, unattributed double die coins are reported. It ended up selling for $2,400 on January 10, 2024 but probably the most valuable example was sold at Great Collections Auction in 2023. This marvelous and lustrous example in Mint State 67 with plus designation from PCGS, fetched a sum of $17,437.50. With buyer's fee. Now as I promised before, I asked AI to predict the future value of the 1972. Here is what she answered. Predicting the future value of specific collectibles like the 1972 Lincoln Cent Double Die Obverse in Superb Gem Condition, MS67, involves considering a variety of factors including but not limited to market demand, the overall economy, trends in numismatics coin collecting, and the condition and rarity of the coin itself. The 1972 Lincoln Cent with a Double Die Obverse is a sought-after error among collectors due to its noticeable doubling, particularly visible in the date and lettering. However, specific predictions are highly speculative. Historically, rare coins in superb condition have appreciated over time, especially those with significant numismatic interest like error coins. The appreciation rate can vary widely depending on how the numismatic market evolves, which can be influenced by new discoveries, changes in collecting trends, and economic factors. For a more concrete prediction, one would typically look at historical sales data, the rarity of the coin in its specific condition, market trends, and expert analyses. These predictions would still be speculative, and actual future values could differ due to unforeseen circumstances. For investment purposes, it's important to conduct thorough research and perhaps consult with a numismatic expert or financial advisor. Investing in numismatics carries risks like any other investment, and values can fluctuate based on market conditions and collector interest. And there you have it, folks. We've uncovered the mysteries of the 1972 Lincoln cent with the double die obverse, including its current value, how to spot this fascinating error, and what steps to take if you find one. If you enjoyed this journey through coin history and speculation, make sure to hit that like button, 
share this video with fellow coin enthusiasts, and subscribe if you haven't already. Your support helps us bring more content like this to you. Until next time, keep searching, keep collecting, and who knows what rare finds you'll uncover next. Happy collecting!